All right, this is the Brymar fifth wheel dump trailer. It's got hydraulic dual jacks. Let's see if this is Get a deep cycle battery. Get a battery charger. Shoreline. 110 plug. This lever right here operates whether it's going to the dump which this is a scissor hoist system or whether it goes to these two jacks there's your hydraulic pump transmission fluid reservoir your handheld control you also got a manual control in here for up down off this thing is made in the USA. There's your diagram for your jack or your dumps. You've got a hydraulic ram to hold that lid up. Keep from smashing your fingers. This is a real nice powder coat finish. Look how thick the steel is just on this. You can see that. This whole box is heavy. Oh, and you get the remote too. That's nice. Very nice feature. Primed and powder coated. It'll hold, let's see, 16,800 pounds pretty darn good. It's a 16 foot trailer. It's got two 7,000 pound axles. Look at the size of this toolbox back here. Under the bed so you don't lose any of your stuff when it's down. There's your spare tire holder underneath. That's very nice. You've got this uh, low profile bed design. There's your safety prop. Your ramps are up underneath. Big old scissor hoist. There's lots of bracing in this trailer. It looks like it's very heavy duty. get 235, 85, 16, eight lugs on here with this intense deep tread. And you have a wear mark down in there. These fender wells are heavy, heavy duty. This is quarter inch steel wrap around plate right here. You got your stack pockets. One, two, three, four, five, six on each side. Three across the front. So this tailgate design is awesome. You got your stabilizer jacks. Your stabilizers when you want to load a heavy piece of equipment in here. Like my excavator. Put these down, you pull that pin, they go down. You got your spreader gate here for gravel. You adjust your chain length to how far you want this thing to tilt back here. You also got this top drop lever, which will lay your tailgate down flat. If you got a bunch of trees or stuff like that. Got these heavy gauge bolts in here. I'm not sure what this thing does. Maybe for your tarp or something. 
You also got your barn style door hinges. This is where your ramp goes. There's your ramp right there. It's held in by this. You pull this pin. Slide your ramp out. Push her back in there. Looks like you got LED lights. Running lights, tail lights. This has got a one piece 10 gauge floor. Solid sheet. You've got six D rings well uh, bolted on here inside the bed. If you can see for the sun glare. Back pins. This hydraulic motor is made in America. It's got a ton of grease fittings on it too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zerk, seven, let's see, eight, nine zerk fittings I can see just now. Ten, eleven zerk fittings I can see right now. Lots of good bracing. Big old tires. This is a heavy, heavy duty trailer. These keep your, your bed from sliding around when, they, when it's down in the frame. Holding them hydraulic jacks on each side. Got some more tie downs. More tie downs up here. You've got your heavy gauge chains here. You got your runaway safety pin right here. Seven pin connector. That looks like enough cord to get around to the back tailgate. It all goes into this box right here. Wire looks like it's done neat. Got your cross member here. This is a nice feature too. nuts holding this ram up in here for your height but you also got this quick pin connector for your gooseneck good secure latch 